Hi you guys, it's Yogi Cameron here and today I want to speak to you about anxiety and how to solve it with meditation. So meditation at the beginning stages can be on anything. You can stare at a lake, you can be outdoors with a tree, you can be closing your eyes, just breathing, staring at your third eye. Those are the beginning stages of meditation where you're training yourself to fall into meditation later. But at that stage, you can get a lot of uh, health benefits. And one of them is to slow down that anxiety. So what is anxiety? It's that quick thinking, lots of thinking in succession that get, makes you more and more and more anxious. And that's what we want to stop. So here's some pointers for you when it comes to meditation and stopping your anxiety. So meditation is the opposite of anxiety. It's about stillness, about quietness, about one's, uh, one's focus being on one thing. So like I said, if you're practicing your mantra, Om, or you're breathing and doing full breath, then you're focusing. And your mind is on something else rather than focusing on your thoughts, which are giving you the anxiety. Because those many thoughts keep adding up, and then they make fire, they make heat in the body, and then you get anxious. So think of meditation as the opposite of anxiety. It's much less movement and stillness. The second point is it brings down your blood pressure. Now, when your blood pressure slows down, everything calms down in the body because the blood is going absolutely everywhere in your system. So it's moving at its own pace, but once it starts that pressure that it travels through the tubes, the channels in, slows down a little bit, suddenly there's a peacefulness. And that's the second thing meditation will do for you. And the third it's going to do for you is bring down your pulse. So you can feel your pulse here, even uh, when you close your eyes and you can breathe slowly, you can feel the heart it starts pumping slower, it goes slower, and that brings down, physiologically, brings down um, the pressure in the mind and it starts to slow everything down. Remember, we want to slow those thoughts down so there's not so many of them. And then the th fourth point here is that the mind starts to have less thoughts. So if you're thinking less, that means you're producing less anxiety. So even if you're having beautiful thoughts, you're having excited thoughts, if you're having too many of them, it's going to create anxiety. It's like kind of like drinking too much water. If you drink the right amount of water, you feel fulfilled. If you drink too much water, you feel bloated and then you don't digest food well and it has some bad effects. Here it's the same thing. So even with good thoughts, we want to have slow, we want to slow them down and have less of them. Generally, we just want to slow down and have less thoughts. And then um, the perspective changes. That's the fifth thing. So in our perspective, because we've slowed down with everything, we start to see everything differently. We're not so in a rush. Uh, we're not quick to judge. We're not quick to take decisions. We do everything at an arm's length a little bit just to see what we're getting involved with. And that's what meditation does. So in the absence of anxiety, and anxiety starts to fade away, you have this sort of uh, introspection of taking decisions instead of rushing into things. I could talk on forever about how meditation will take care of your anxiety, but it's time to do some. So on YC membership, you're going to find lots of ways to meditate. And like I said, don't get frustrated. Start to, and don't give yourself anxiety over meditating. It's not good. <laughs> I sometimes hear from people, I'm getting anxious about my meditation. That's not how it works. So start to practice. Start to put it in the process into action, and then you're going to reap the benefits. Namaste.